Hello, my name is Larry Dudo, Dean of Academic Services uh, for College of Sequoias. Uh, I'm currently in charge of all the career technical education programs at the college, and COS has been instrumental uh, as a community college in that about 90% of all of our students uh, take one or more career technical education courses. We're very fortunate at COS to have a uh, tech prep program that articulates about 200 courses every year for our students that are articulating from the high school level to the community college level. Uh, we're very fortunate in California in that we have a governor who has put a new emphasis on career technical education. About 85% of all jobs today require training above the secondary level. And so what we're trying to do at COS is to bridge that gap between the high school programs and the industry in terms of uh, educating students and giving them the skills that they need above the high school level. For instance, in our graphic design program at COS, we're offering a variety of courses um, for students that have an interest in graphic design. And so we think it's very important for COS uh, to be a leader in career technical education and our graphic uh, arts program, um, our architecture program, digital animation, uh, AutoCAD programs are very instrumental in doing that. My name is Ron Johnson. I'm the director of the Tulare County Organization for Vocational Education, otherwise known as TCOV. Currently, there are uh, 20 sections of TCOV ROP classes. Those are classes out in the high school districts that are associated with uh, media, design, and arts uh, pathway. Uh, the, those classes specifically would be more like desktop publishing, uh, digital video film production, graphic arts, and website design. Uh, checking the enrollment on those programs this year, we have about 450 students that are enrolled in those four sectors. Locally, students have the opportunity to uh, take advantage of advanced training in the arts, media, and entertainment industry sector. Uh, they can do that uh, locally with the community college. Uh, also, they can get additional training at a more advanced level at uh, Fresno City College, uh, Fresno State, and Cal State Bakersfield. I think there's an opportunity uh, for the College of Sequoias to possibly centralize their uh, programs associated with arts, media, and entertainment into one particular area. My name is Ernie Flores and I'm the principal of Farmersville High School. There's, there's many different areas within our vocational ed programs that I think can be enhanced. One of those being our graphics programs, graphics arts programs, and graphic arts comes in many different formats. Um, formats such as video production, website production, print, there, there's much need for that in our valley with all the industry that is currently here. Um, I know that this is also a very ag-rich uh, communities valley here um, and, and we can expand upon that and utilize our graphics programs, our graphics students, even within our ag communities. Um, I, I think that we can start by possibly formulating um, and building some form of a standardized curriculum um, through the articulation of our community colleges and industry, uh, sitting together as, as a team and, and finding out what our local industries are looking for. What are the skills that they're looking for from our students? And then from there, working together with our community colleges and, and building those programs. My name is Jim Sill. I teach video production at Aldi Monte High School. I think one of the issues that I have uh, with, with COS is um, the amount of classes that are available for my students to go uh, to the next level to. When my students leave here, um, it's more of a lateral move to COS as opposed to the next level up. Um, you know, they, they have great teachers there. I just don't know if the course they have enough courses to challenge my, the, my graduating students. One of the things that we're finding, uh, I'm finding here at El Monte High School is that we're now an Apple Certified Training Center. My students can uh, become Apple Certified uh, Pros in Final Cut Pro, and uh, when they go to COS, uh, they'll learn Final Cut Express. Certified professionals are going to college to learn a lower software. You know, we're servicing almost over 450 students in, in uh, graphic arts, the entertainment uh, or, or video, video field, and 
we want them to go to a place where they're going to take that next step up. We're working together to create much, many, many more opportunities for our students. And when they graduate from high school, we don't want them to leave the area to get more experience. And you know what? There's so much work here in the Central Valley that they, they really don't even have to leave. You know, and so we'd hate for them to go seek uh, education elsewhere because they're not going to come back. Hi, my name is Giovanni Renteria. I took several TECO classes. I feel like the training over there at COS was not good. It wasn't good. I got more training here at high school. The graphic design classes are, are beginners. My name is Robert Meschel. I went to Woodlake High School. Um, I didn't really receive much training in graphic design uh, back in high school. I took mostly art classes. I've received most of my training here at COS. And for the most part, I've, I've uh, learned a lot about how to use the programs and things. However, I find it a little unorganized. Um, some of the classes aren't in, in order, it seems. There's no real basic foundation. It's just you jump in and, and start using the programs. And so um, it's good practice once you've, once you've learned how to use the programs. But it, it seems a little uh, out of structure. There, there's, there could be more. My name is Karen Anderson. I graduated from Exeter High School in 1995. I've been at COS for three semesters now. I basically just opened up the programs for the first time here at COS. Uh, I feel like the, the it's chaos, it's very disorganized. Um, we don't have any full-time teachers, any consistency. Most classes to graduate, you have to graduate with each class taken more than once and it's only offered every other semester. So it stretches out your two years. My name is Matt Emoto. I graduated from Redwood High School in 2005, and this is my second semester here at COS. Um, prior to coming here, I was at San Diego and I was taking a bunch of art classes. I never took any graphics classes or any training of any sort with Illustrator or Photoshop or anything with, uh, with graphics on the computer. So until I got here, I just had an art background, and when I, when I came to COS, I pretty much learned uh, Illustrator and Photoshop all here. And when you're, when you're here at school, you know, like everybody else said, it's just kind of, it's cut and dry. You come in, you do what you do. The, the teachers don't really give you too much advice, too much um, input on the, real, on the real world and, you know, the programs that you're supposed to be learning. Hi, uh, I'm Mickey Powell. Um, I was a student at El Monte High School. I graduated in June of 2007. And I just started the spring semester at COS, where um, I'm taking some classes along with video production. One of the main problems I see is um, there's no really advanced class. I was kind of expecting that there would be there would be a lot of people there that would challenge me to step up to a ne the next level and possibly you know push me f further than I've gone. I just feel like there needs to be a more advanced, a more advanced course for people with skills that are past the basic level. COS is pretty good, actually. The program, I mean, it's a good class. It's a good school. I mean, good college, but I mean, video production and graphic design is not their thing right now. They can improve. They can improve a lot. Um, I really want. I want to continue my training in video production and um, graphic design, but I don't really want to move away. My name is Daniel Benitez and I graduated from Farmersville High School in 2005 and there I learned a lot of stuff. I, I learned Photoshop, InDesign, Illustrator, After Effects, and um, uh, Final Cut Pro. And after that I went to UC Santa Cruz and right when I got there, you know, I, I knew I was trained really good because I was talking to senior, juniors and seniors there that, you know, have been at going to UC Santa Cruz for a while now and they were going to me, coming to me and you know I, I showed them the basics I showed them how to use InDesign because some of them knew how to use Illustrator but not InDesign or no or they knew Photoshop but not the other two below them and I showed them pretty much how to do everything and I liked that that I was able to do that but it was kind of weird because you know I would think a university would have high standards for their graphic design major which mine is I'm a graphic design and video editing major and after that year at UC Santa Cruz, I went to Fresno State, and there it was basically the same thing. After that, I came back to uh, COS, and basically the classes that I took at COS, I already knew because I took them through um, TECO classes offered to me in high school, and you know, 
It's just when I go to high, uh, college, it's really irritating. I don't want to go through the same thing that I learned in high school. And when I go to college and I see it's less in high school, it's not really interesting to me. And um, one thing I noticed that COS can do that can like really distance themselves from other colleges is start a really good program there. You know, because I've talked to a lot of students around that area that are really interested in you know going in graphic design or video or anything like that, commercial design. And so the students are there. We're just waiting for the school.